Hey everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions. Today I want to talk about my four favorite plugins for sound design. These are third-party plugins that are really creative, that I use quite a lot. I do most of my sound design in Cubase and Nuendo and I love to use those plugins. I'm not going to talk about VSTi, that might be in another video, but these are only going to be effects, so I hope you like that kind of content. If you do, make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And let's dive right in. Um, I have three basic sound effects here. Uh, one jump sound effect that I designed. One airy whoosh. And one UI sound effects. So these are really simple, really basic. And I want to show you what I use those plugins for. Usually I like to use those plugins to create sources. And the first one that I want to talk about is Manipulator by Polyverse with Infected Mushroom. This is really powerful and really creative what you can do with it. So you have the basic functions like Pitch Informant, uh, but you also have much more and you can do crazy things because you have modulation, harmonics, you can do FM, so frequency modulation, and it's always nice to have the dry and wet over here. So let's try on this UI sound that we have over here. So once again, without the plugin. Let's play with the settings a little bit. See how easy it is to drastically change the sound? And one thing I really like is if you want to use it just to spread the stereo field, it's really good for that. So let's try it out. Just like that, I made my sound way wider. And you also have a detune. So a lot of really cool things you can play with. And the beautiful thing is you have modulation, so you can modulate different settings. So let's say, for example, I want an ADSR. Now you have knobs that you can play around with. Really cool stuff. Let's try a couple of presets really fast. This, for example, I really like how exciting it is in the high frequency, so I might just uh, blend it a little bit. And now this SFX is way more exciting in the higher frequencies. Let's listen to it without and with. It just adds a little layer. So instead of trying to layer multiple sounds to reach what you're looking for, you can always use it and, and just blend it a little bit. I also like to use it on whooshes to make them sound sci-fi, for example. So let's try again some morph presets. Like I can blend this one to make it sound a bit more like a, a spaceship passing by. So again, this is the basic sound, just an air whoosh. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. It's really creative. Now the second plugin I want to talk about is Infiltrator by Devious Machines. I reviewed this plugin on my channel. So if you want to have an in-depth look at it, I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is really creative, but it can really destroy your sound really fast. So let's listen to the jump sound that we had. So really basic cartoony jump sound. Uh, let's try a couple presets. So it's really creative. 
And what's cool is you have macros uh, that you can play around with in the different presets. So let's say I want to tweak, tweak this. Let's try another preset. So by playing with the macros, the tone of the SFX changed quite a lot. I really like what it does. Let's uh, listen to it bypass again. And with the effect. This is really good uh, in my opinion. I would probably use that. Now, this is a really complex plugin. As I said, make sure you check out the full review if you want to know more about it. The third plugin I like to use is a plugin called Snap Heat by Kilohertz. So they also make Faceplant. It's really popular. It's a really good VSTi synth but they have a ton of different effects that you can use in your DAW and Snap Heat is amazing because you have multiple effects and you have multiple modulation as well uh, that you can run in parallel uh, in, or in series. So let's try a couple of presets. Uh, let's try them on the uh, UI sound. This is already interesting. That's really nice for a high pitched layer. Uh, usually I I rarely use this plugin when I really know what type of sound I want to do. I use it to create sources. So I will run different sounds, different uh, impacts or different SFX uh, in it. And I will try to get some interesting results and I will export them and put them in my uh, personal bank. But it's really creative what you can do. Of course, you can uh, add the modules yourself and tweak them. But I really like to just try different presets and play with the different uh, knobs. Once again, you have some knobs that you can play with that are affecting multiple things. So these are similar to the macro knobs that we had in Infiltrator. Really cool stuff. And you can change as well the different modulation. Um, and it will affect different parameters. So really, really nice plugin. Last but not least, this is a newer plugin by Boom Library. I love Boom Libraries. Uh, you probably know that I uh, already reviewed Enraged and Enforcer. I use those plugins quite a lot. They're amazing. And you know that I love plugins that can do a lot, but that the UI is super simple to use. Now, this will make any of your sound louder. It's a wonderful tool to help you mix your sound effects or even your music. Uh, because you can make it a one band where you just push the sound. So in this case, uh, let's try the jump. So let's try to add some. So it makes it way louder. You have different characters. So stress is a lot more aggressive. But in this case, you can split it into two or three bands. Let's try it in three bands and let's try to enhance the low and the highs. Without. How amazing is this? It already sounds 10 times better in my opinion. And the same with the whoosh. The whoosh is kind of dull if you listen to it. Now let's try it with the plugin. And let's try to push it really hard. We also have a clipper. 
We can make it distort if we want and a denoiser. If you don't start from a synth sound, just a recording where there's a lot of noise in the background, if you push it too loud, then that noise will go up as well. So you can use the denoise knob. A beautiful plugin. It makes everything sounds great and loud, and I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's try again just for fun. I was using Manipulator on that whoosh to get a sci fi sound, so let's try to blend uh, this with the Uber Loud. Now for fun, let's try it on the jump pad with the setting that we had um, on Infiltrator. So without any plugins, with Infiltrator and Uberloud. That's so cool. And I could have used some big sounds, like some big gunshots or punches and things that sound cinematic, but the goal was to give you like really raw, simple sounds and show you how crazy you can tweak them with those plugins. So I hope you like that kind of stuff. These can do so much more, but these are the four plugins I use the most to be creative in my sound design. If you like that kind of stuff, as usual, click the like button and let me know if you use other plugins. What are your favorite plugins when you do sound design in the comments below? I'm always curious to discover new plugins, so please let me know in the comments. And as usual, I see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.